A warm welcome to this webcast. We would like to introduce you to the hidden power of Inquiterms and their related processes and technologies. There are various improvements that can help your value and supply chain. Because Inquiterms are not only about logistics. Let's get started first of all though with what Inquiterms are. Inquiterms stands for International Commercial Terms of Trade for the Trade of Goods. These contractual clauses were first published in 1936 and since then have been updated regularly by the International Chamber of Commerce. Sellers and buyers in over 120 countries use those trade terms. They are part in over 90% of purchasing and sales contracts. Primarily, they determine three aspects of responsibility between the seller and buyer. Who pays which part of the freight cost? Who bears the risk? in case the goods get damaged or are lost, and whether the seller is supposed to opt for additional transport insurance. Those are the primary aspects only. There are many more, including the number of freight forwarders being involved in the complete supply chain, the number of customs and tax regulations to be considered, and finally, the impact on the financial areas of accounting, controlling, and invoicing. Inquiterms do not only relate to supply chain aspects, but also to the value chain itself. There is a hidden potential that is often disregarded. One of the major hidden potential effects is indicated by the red arrow to the right hand side. First of all, let us start at the top left corner though. Initially, Inquiterms are agreed up in purchasing and sales contracts, being part of the value chain. This agreement defines what the supply chain should look like, thus determining the logistics planning. During logistics execution, the supply chain events trigger financial aspects back in the value chain. These are including tax determination, revenue recognition, invoicing, controlling, up to the process of auditing. Overall, it is important to mention that Inquiterms are not only a supply chain topic. Yet, let's get started in the popular related area of supply chain. Incoterms start being relevant for sellers and buyers, but are also the core basis of operations for freight forwarders, as sellers and buyers tend to outsource their obligations. The Incoterms begin influencing how many additional parties are to be involved along the supply chain transportation. By going further down the carrier level, Inquiterms do matter less, as carriers usually focus on just one lack of the transportation execution, e.g. the pre-carriage, main carriage or on-carriage. Furthermore, Inquiterms impacts differs among the supply chain partners based on their value chain focus. For instance, a seller focuses on producing goods, whereas a freight forwarder focuses on providing logistical services along the supply chain. Intercarrier focuses on having their own fleet, such as trucks, airplanes and vessels maintained. As a result, the types and intensity of Inquiterms related benefits and savings differ. So do the software requirements. Even when talking about the same type of software, such as an enterprise resource planning system or a transportation management system, Deferring value chain requirements lead to deferring tool requirements and thus various software landscapes into which Inquiterms logic has to fit in. So having started our webcast journey here, knowing that Inquiterms meta within the supply and the value chain, let's have a deeper look into it. Value chain and supply chain tend to be considered independently from one another. Inquiterms can help to connect these two worlds. The world of value chain reflects the few within a company and its product value generating departments and functions. Inquiterms can help to connect by starting as a contractual agreement which determines what the supply chain should look like. Based on the Inquiterms, the seller could be responsible for organizing transport until the airport of loading within its own tax and customs environment. So the buyer is responsible for organizing transport from the port of loading. Yet, based on the Inquiterm, the seller might also have to deal with import and tax regulations in the destination country, at the port of discharge or even until the final destination. Not yet illustrated here are various further supply chain players, such as the subcarriers and terminal operators, 
indicated for further incoterms relevancy are also insurance firms regarding transport insurance and banks regarding letters of credit. Often disregarded supply chain events drive the value chain. For instance, in the area of taxation, accounting, billing and IT, influencing working capital and P&L effects. Incoterms are the connecting element helping to unleash these hidden potentials. An orchestrated approach enables to make use of business opportunities, increased compliance and financial gains. Would you like to get to know more about those hidden champions of efficiency across your value and supply chain? Then click on the links below in the video text box, leading to our Incoterms website and directing you to various materials such as our point of view white paper. Here we would like to present three highlights. Firstly, uh, find in Chapter 3 an insight into the cross-value chain potential, starting in legal, financial advisory, tax, strategy, up to process reflection and software. Secondly, have a look at our innovative graphic design. We made sure that only C-only terms are distinguished from C-intermodal terms. Also, we made sure that the importance of named places are underlined so that it becomes clear which challenges there are for software trying to work with Incoterms logic. Thirdly, due to the 2020 rule set changes, why not making use of the momentum and have an Incoterms health check screening conducted? How efficiently do you use Incoterms logic? How well does your software support you to unleash the efficiency and finance effects? In case you would like to get in touch with us, feel free to email our CrossBU leads. Thank you very much for listening.